We're watching Melissa's Legally Blind World YouTube channel. Let's have some learning out education and fun. Hey guys, um, I want to let you know that I am feeling pretty much normal now. Um, yeah, I feel pretty normal. Um, like, I'm so glad I got fully vaccinated. Um, but anyway, um, sorry for not making a video in, in a bit, I got a new phone as well as recovering, um, from the second shot, um, but this is my new phone, um, that's the case for it, um, 48 p.m. It has talk back. Um, this is called this is a Motorola One um, Android, and it has 5G. For the first time, I have 5G. Um, and as you can see, the still talk back has still some of the same gestures. Um, only difference is there's some brand new ones a little bit. Um, however, swiping is still the same. Um, the two fingers to swipe, two fingers, um, one finger to navigate around, one finger double tapping, that's still the same. However, I have been not making a video on accessibility for a bit as I got this new phone and had to learn it so um 5 49 p.m device unlocked metro zone welcome to metro by t-mobile webview photo app clear all button clear all button home screen one of two search double tap and hold to and as you can see, there's a new feature there of what I just did. I put my hand over when TalkBack is talking. Messages. Search. Double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. I, there's a sensor somewhere up here um, that does the same thing as the two-finger single tap would. Um, so I don't have to do the two-finger single tap as much. And I got the normal, able to scan around till I see what I want. Google search, Google search, voice search, YouTube, Facebook, Play Store, Photos, Chrome, YT Music, Calendar, Photo, My Metro, Folder, Camera, Assistant, Calculator, Settings, Visual Voice, Folder, Discord, Folder, Visual Voicemail, Folder, Google, Discord, has five notifications. Double yeah. tap tap. And it has the same prompt, double tap to activate. Um, however, there are some new features um, that I will that I will get into. And I recently got what's called the Talkback Accessibility Suite. Now that suite, as spelled as S U I T E, um, rather than S W E E T. Um, so sweet, S U I E T E, allows new features and gestures with TalkBack. So I have some brand new gestures. Like when I get a call, you won't be able to see this demonstrated unless somebody were to call me. Um, and when that call happens, it'll normally describe the caller ID and who is it from, blah, blah. Um, but our difference is, to answer the way I answer a call now, rather than trying to find the answer button, I can just swipe up with two fingers, swipe up with two, take two fingers at the same time, with two fingers at the same time, like swiping um, with two fingers to do this. Metro zone resizable. Search. Double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. And it said it did a little bit of. If you guys are familiar with voiceover, it tells you about the actions being available or something. That's what TalkBack is doing too. Um, I learned about voiceover a little bit from YouTube videos. 
in friends that use it. Um, like for example, Theory for Blind Man, he uses voiceover screen readers, so, um, and, and just like what I showed here with, with taking two fingers and swiping. Metro zone resizable. Search. Double tap and hold to long press. And uh, you do that, but up for answer, down for hang up. And that's how I answer and hang up calls. Now I can swipe up to answer or down for hang up. For hanging up. And and I still have the same um you have to be really oh, metro zone resizable. The same Double one finger the same one finger slide. Um Home Discord has five notifications. And and I got the same right or yeah for me it's for me out uh, for me right and down for notification shade. Notification shade five fifty four PM double tap to activate. And I'm not gonna get any closer because these are my notifications, but um and I can just go through them and read them with TalkBack's help and double tap on one if I want, if I hear one I like or need. Um, and I have the same down and left for putting it back away. Moto app launcher. Discord has five notifications. Like that. And now I'm back in the home screen after hearing about one of the icons. Um, and I can flick around. Folder, visual voicemail, settings, calculator, assistant, camera, folder, my metro, photo, calendar, YT music, Chrome, photos, Play Store, has Facebook, has two notifications. And I found Facebook. If I want to go to Facebook, I double tap. Facebook, Facebook logo, button, disabled. And I can do the same. Search face messaging, selected, friends, groups, marketplace, notifications, have five of six, ten or more new. Double tap to activate. And to access the recent apps, or as it's called here, app, app, app drawer, whatever it's called, you do, I can do this, they're still the same left and up. Six. Photo app launcher. Facebook. Double tap to activate. It's called the app launcher, and you can either swipe up or flick until you hear the word clear all notifications. Clear all button. Home screen one of two. Search. Like that. Um, and the, uh, the best part is when Magnifier is active and that's in tandem with Talkback. Listen closely. Showing 15 suggestions. Ooh. Showing English, U.S. 40 people. Basically, when I triple tap for magnifier. Magnification on 200%. And talk back ignores that. And if I make it any bigger. Magnification off. Settings. Search settings. Double tap to activate. Or if I turn off. The magnifier, it'll say magnification off. Photo app launcher, search. And the tap and hold to long press. Actions available, you can wipe up then right to view. Magnification on 200, magnification 409%. And it tells me the size. Magnification 652%. And it's a little bit better. Magnification 441%. Magnification 384%. And when I triple tap, magnification off. It tells you, talkback tells you that the magnifier is either on or off. And and when my screen goes out, screen off. It says that same screen off, and it shows this.
which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that's my brand new phone, the Android Motorola One 5G. And I hope you guys like this video. And I still have a lot more to learn with the accessibility suite. Um, as new gestures, you know, come along or something like that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I just figured I'd show that um, for everybody. Um, now, the gestures are pretty much still the same. And I also want to show you an amazing new gesture I found with the accessibility suite is it, when accessibility suite mode is activated you swipe up like similar with what you do with voice view with going through the menu um, and you can go through speech rate links controls headings paragraphs words characters speech rate swipe up or swipe down to adjust the setting and I can make the speed faster by going up or slower by going down. Faster. Slower. Swipe up then down or swipe down then up to select a different setting. And it teaches you. So yeah, that's my new phone all summed up. The Android Motorola One 5G Ace. And and yeah, it's a pretty neat phone. The camera on it is holy crap, um, but in a good way. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. And may the force be with you guys. Had fun or learned something from this video? Feel free to check out more of legal blindness nerding out fun here at Melissa's Legally Blind World. Remember to trust in the force and may it always be with you always. Get a load of these other videos from my channel. Thanks for watching.